YTPC back with another video on pipe accessories guys I thought I'd just do some quick intros to some of these things you know when you're a new pipe smoker and you're searching the internet and you're watching video after video like me uh, when I was a new piper I had a lot of questions about oh what's that guy using oh what's that I really like that product I like this I like that and, and I had no idea what the brand name was what he was using what he was using all these questions come to mind and after hundreds of hours of digging in the YTPC pipe community I slowly but surely was able to figure out what the name of products were or ask questions so to avoid a lot of those issues trying to locate products or find products I thought I would just go ahead and share with you guys um, some products that I like and to maybe save you a little bit of money and time because some of the products are good some of them are not so good again this comes down to personal preference and it's very subjective just like you know what what's my favorite pipe brand etc etc so I thought I'd share with you guys my thoughts on some pipe accessories and probably the one of the most important accessories as a pipe smoker is your tamp and, or your tamper. So <clears throat> I've tried a lot of different things and you know anything will work from a, a nail to a, a golf tee but if you're looking for something just a little bit more you know, quality, something a little bit more aesthetic looking. There are some options out there, and I'll share with you what I have. So, um, this is your typical uh, tamp that's sold on a lot of different online stores. Um, I forget where it is made. Um, they're very popular, like a dollar or two, and they're very cheap, and I highly recommend these when you first get into pipe smoking and the reason I say that is because if you're like me you tend to lose them often um, so yes um, I want to give a shout out to a fellow youtuber and I can't remember his name offhand I will put it down in the description below but he makes uh, these pipe tampers very similar to these. I think they're the larger, um, the larger of the same brand. It's just a little bit larger. And he makes uh, some leather pipe holders. <clears throat> Basically, they're you. He makes leather pieces that these this fits into, and just makes for a great way not to lose these as well as have a nice little pipe stand with it. And I will link his link below since I'm a follower of his channel and a fan. So I will do that. And this is just a very popular tam. Uh, there isn't a lot of surface area on the tamp itself, but you have your tamp, your, your poker, which is used to um, move the tobacco around a little bit or to help get some oxygen to the tobacco by poking it several times to get the get the oxygen if you've tamped it too hard and tamping is kind of a bit of an art it is something that takes a little while to get used to so if you're a new pipe smoker don't get frustrated um, you will learn how to ma manipulate this tool and uh, it just comes with some time and some experience so a lot of guys who are uh, started out pipe smoking had no idea about a tamp including myself um, I couldn't understand how to smoke a pipe of course back then there was no internet and I didn't have anyone to show me so <laughs> in today's age we're lucky enough to have a constant nice steady flow of information so there's that <clears throat> if you're new to pipe smoking you got to get yourself a tamp this is something that's very important to pipe smoking and uh, without it um, if you're not tamping your tobacco 
you're most likely struggling with pipe smoking. So anyway, here's this. It's very cheap. It's like a dollar or two. Uh, sold on most websites. And this is something I throw in my pipe go bag. And it's not something that's super expensive or I have to worry about. So it does its job. Not the best, but it does its job. Another uh, um, pipe tamp is this one here. It's just one I got off of smokingpipes.com. I guess it's their brand. And the reason I like this one is it actually has a, a, a keychain. So you can put it on a keychain. Uh, it's very cheap. I think it was, I don't know, 3 to $5 at the most. And very much like the other one, it, um, I don't know if these are Swedish, Swedish made or I can't, I don't have my reading glasses on there to read it, but is it Norwegian? I don't know. Anyway, not a big deal. This one, uh, folds up really nicely. Um, almost like a pocket knife and it has a nice keychain on there. So if you need a backup or one to put to carry, but you're not gonna lose it, it's on your keys. This is also a great option. And last but not least, my favorite tamp design. And from a design standpoint, I absolutely love this tamp. Um, it's called the, the eight, 8 Delco. Delco, 8 Delco. An eight and then DECO. And from a design standpoint, the reason I like this one is one, I think the the end here is just beautifully polished and it just it just looks really nice. And but the tamp itself has some holes in it. So when you're tamping it and you're drawing it, it's pulling still pulling air through so your 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 amber doesn't go out. And it also has these ridges on it. So if you, some tobaccos uh, tend to be more kind of almost like a crust on the surface. You can kind of uh, twist it and kind of push down that uh, crust. Um, typically I've just used the poker and poke it a few times, but in some cases I like to use this and kind of twist it and kind of push Push, not only push down, but kind of even out the crust on the tobacco. <clears throat> now, if you do this to, uh, at least in my experience, if you do this uh, towards the end of the bowl, it can kind of start tasting bad. So you got to kind of be careful about which, how much you're doing that or <clears throat> at what point you're doing that. But I do like uh, how it is made. So anyway... There's my thoughts on some tamps. Um, I at this point I <clears throat> there isn't a tamp that kind of has everything that I want in it. Um, this is only six dollars, and I think this is probably one of the best tamps uh, if you're not going to uh, be mobile with it. In the sense of if you have a you know your your smoking room and you're just sitting watching TV, I think these are great tamps. <clears throat> I do have another one here. Um, it looked, <laughs> it didn't quite end up being what I wanted it to be. Um, the pictures were kind of not quite what I wanted. Um, so I actually, I like the cheaper version of this one better. And this one, again is only like $6. Um, typically what I would like is something like this. Um, you know, I almost want to go out and buy a, a wood lathe and make my own tamps because I would use something very similar to this design, but I would like to, to have the wood. You know, I, I can't find one where the wood's really nice, like, say, uh, walnut burl or crotch rocket burl or something that's just a really nice a wood finish and then... Somehow I'd want to incorporate uh, probably a poker tool. Uh, this one has one here built into it. It unscrews and then comes out and has a, a poker tool, which is nice. Um, and it works um, just aesthetically. I'm, I'm not real fond of this one.
but it has everything built into it. It is a nice tool. Um, I'm just kind of picky about the things that I like. And it has all the tools integrated into it, as well as this, this wonderful tamp design. It's just I'm looking for something more. I just really like wood finishes. So this is some sort of plastic or epoxy type thing that um, I really don't care for. But I sure would love to make my own tamps and eventually at some point maybe I will do that. I will create what I like. The one thing I like about this one is the shape of the scoop. I really like this shape. Um, it's just basically kind of self-explanatory there. But it's really easy to um, get, get the ash out of your pipe. When you're finished so the only thing it's missing is a is a poker prodder so anyway that's a quick video guys on pipe tamping and pipe tamps and just a few thoughts and tips about it um, again um, if you're new to piping you need to get yourself a tamp tool this is imperative to pipe smoking so whether you use the end of a nail flat side or you get yourself a tamp tool um you know it's a hobby and find something that works for you and hopefully you got something out of this video maybe some ideas and again if you're new and you haven't tried a tamp you really need to get one so anyway guys thanks for watching the video if you like the content please like and comment and subscribe if you know of any other brands uh, of tamps out there that maybe have more uh, nice wood finishes or someone out there who um, makes uh, tamps please leave a comment down below I'd like to check them out if there's one I'm not aware of and uh, anyway guys thanks for watching uh, and happy piping.